Welcome 6th and 7th graders, this is Mr. Corbett, I'm one of the tech teachers here at Farnsworth Middle School. How about we go and take a tour of the technology labs and see who you might be working with this year. Let's head on down this way and meet some of our friends, the technology teachers. And here we are heading up to the computer lab and in this room we have Mrs. Mansoor. Hi Miss Mansoor. Hello friends, hello Mr. Corbett, how are you? And what are we doing up here with the kids? We are doing so many fun things. So, first of all, I'm Mrs. Mansour. I'm the cool technology teacher. I shouldn't say I'm the coolest, but one of the cool uh, technology <laughs> teachers, just to be fair. And also, um, you probably noticed my accent. I want you to guess where I am from. Oh, I know. You, you don't. Do you? Yeah. You do? Okay. Colony. N uh, not quite. Think about it hear my accent over and over again and think about where did I grow up probably in something in a place that's fantastic right think about it until we meet so I teach sixth grade technology but I teach you computer technology so if you think that computer is only for gaming think again because in here we're gonna learn how to make uh, ourselves better learners using the computers can wait until I see you, friends. I'm so excited to meet each one of you. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Miss Mansour. See you soon. Thank you, Mr. Corbett, for stopping by. And here we come to room 504. And who do we have working in here? Oh, hey, Mr. Corbett. Well, hey, Mr. Freeman. I'm Mr. Freeman, like you just said. I'm one of the four technology teachers, or five technology teachers at FMS. I'm just finishing up my bucksaw handle. Uh, this is one of the sixth grade projects we use. We make in sixth grade. I'm hoping we get to do that again this year. Might look a little different. Uh, let me put on my mask. We'll head down and see uh, what else is happening in the other rooms. Well, check out this room, Mr. Freeman. This is a cool room. It is. We have some machines, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to use those. But we do use a lot of hand tools. Coping saw. And a file. All right. To make a buck saw. Seventh grade. This is the catapult we made last year, year before, in years past. And um, we might have a variation there of this that we get to do also in seventh grade. So let's head down and see what our other labs look like. All right. Look at all these tools we have. Hand sanitizer. That's right. Look Safety that. first, Mr. Freeman. Yeah, I put some on earlier when I started working on the machines and the hand tools. Do it now, and we'll head down. Follow me. All right. Whoa, look at all these computers in here, Mr. Freeman. That's right. We have three labs that look pretty much like this. We do some drawing work to make a bucksaw handle to design it on the computer, to design a catapult. And uh, we also do a little bit of uh, structure stuff. We build different structures and test them. We have a structures tester up there. We'll show you that a little later. Come on over. Let's see what Mrs. Demure is up to. Hey, Mrs. Demure. Hello, Mr. Freeman and Mr. Corbin. How are you guys today? Oh, what are we working on over here? We are working on a trivia game. So I'm Mrs. Demure, and I'm looking at some of the students' past work in Google applications. I'm going to put on my mask since you guys are getting a little bit close to me and take a look at what I'm doing here. So this is a Jeopardy game that we work on in Google Slides. Let me show you some of the questions. You guys can play along with me. All right. Category is books for 10 points. This book series stars a young boy who finds out he is a wizard. Oh, I know what that is. I know that one. What? Guess. Harry Potter. Gandalf. Gandalf. <laughs> Harry Potter, Mr. Woo Freeman, 10 points. Oh, boo. How about history for 20? I'm not good at this one. This ship sunk in the year 1912. Oh, I know this one too. Wow. Come on, Mr. Titanic? Mr. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Whoa. 20 points for Mr. Corbett. Fruits for 30. This fruit is small and comes in green and purple. Oh, we stumped him. Grape? Maybe. What is a grape? Whoa, nice job. Boy. Let's do space for 40. I love space. Scientists think that a planet in this solar system is inhabitable by humans. I mean, I 
guess Mars is the closest. Oh, this in this solar, solar system. system. Oh. Like the Kepler system. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, tech. My oh, favorite easy subject. One. Definitely a favorite. This is the best tech oop, tech teacher at FMS. Oh, Spelling error. I know that answer. Uh -oh. Ready? Definitely me. Who oh. Is this oh. Oh. oh, I think that's a biased <laughs> question. <laughs> I think we got to move on here. So, Mrs. DeMiro, when do we make one of these games? You're going to make this in sixth grade in our Google Applications Unit. Wow, very exciting. What are some other things we do in sixth grade? We're going to learn how to touch type in sixth grade. We're going to work with Google Slides. We're going to work with the word processing program, Google Docs in sixth grade. That's the computer applications. We're going to have library literacy where we learn how to distinguish um, good and bad information when we're researching, things that are probably true, and then distinguish that between things that might not be true. All and right. let's see, anything else? Google Sheets, yes, Google Sheets. I love Google Sheets. Yep, where we're going to work with uh, data. Sometimes we uh, use data with M&M colors and we learn how to um, use formulas so we can sum them, we can average them, we can make graphs such as bar graphs and pie charts. And, and do you get to eat the M&Ms? You sure do. <laughs> I, like, I like to just pull my mask down and just fill it full of M&Ms. <laughs> and then I can eat in class, om nom nom, and nobody can see it. Oh, All right. <gasps> we have some right here. Look at okay. that. All right, and we have another tech teacher we're gonna go visit. Let's head on over here, Mr. Freeman. Okay. All right, bye guys, nice talking with Take you. Take care, Mrs. Nira. Yeah, this is one of the, the third computer room that we have. And uh, Mr. Ball's over here working on something on the computer. What are you working on, Mr. Ball? Hey, Mr. Oh, Ball. Hey, guys. How are you? How are you? Uh, I'll tell you all about what I'm working on. I'll get back to that in just a minute. For all of you out there, I'm Mr. Ball. I'm one of the technology teachers here at FMS. And I'm glad you asked that question because I think this is really cool. So cool that we plan on doing this with all middle school level students the best that we can. So let's take a look here. Now this is complicated. This is my catapult and I was working on like the perfect placement of some holes. But this this is crazy. I had to start somewhere. So what I did this morning was I figured out if I could just draw one part and I could understand it from different points of view like maybe the front view or or even the top view alone and then I could do it and make it one 3D part. Well if I could do that with such an easy piece like this then I, then I was able to go even further and make other parts Whoa, similar. And then if I said, well, if I could do two parts, could I possibly put parts together? And it turned out I was fabulous, and you will be too, because this is a super awesome program called Autodesk Inventor, and it's a 3D program that we're going to use. So will you, those of you who we have in school. And if we don't, and you have, we have you remote, then we have another one that's going to be available even on your Chromebook. But this one, I, I even went one step further, and I can even take my parts and animate them. So eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this catapult actually look like it's an operating catapult. And I'm really excited about it. Well, that sounds fantastic. What else are we doing, yeah. Mr. Mr. Ball? Hey, I, I got plenty of stuff to show you. I'm going to start right here with this right on this table. This is something that's so awesome. We're going to even start you off in sixth grade with doing this project right here. And this... It's a really cool rocket. Although I think this one, yeah, this is Mr. Freeman's. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. No, I beg to differ on this. It does say. Oh, it says. It, it says, says Mr. Corbett, Corbett right yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So. Oh, that's my that's my pride and joy there. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is our flight <laughs> unit that we're doing in sixth grade. Exactly. We're gonna. So not only are we gonna try to build a rocket, sometimes virtually, sometimes in school, but we're gonna learn all sorts of different cool things about space and flight in general. Which reminds me, I better do this right now. I've got my, I made this on Saturday right here, my flight mask. I'm going to put that on right here. I got my constellations. Look there we go. That. Look at this. Did all the sewing myself. You can put a piece yeah. of wire in there. So, hey, how about we talk more about this rocket or make it the thing that's in Mr. Freeman's hands instead? Could Either way, you choose. That's like the catapult I was drawing on the computer screen. It is. Yeah, yeah we, we saw that earlier different. in the production yeah, lab. Just a different that version. Production lab. But I bet, uh, I bet you up? could do these same parts, not mm -hmm. the whole thing, but I bet if you just took it one piece at a time, 
you could draw yours in Autodesk Inventor too. You think so? I think you could. Really? Especially if I showed you some tips. Well, you'll definitely have to show me. I could yeah. show you. I could show yeah. you. I'm not yeah. sure I'm used let's, to it. Let's get back on track, boys. We, even, we are on track. What can we, we throw with we this? We can even, oh, Agnes is Demura. Oh, I've got a big lava of clay. Wait, she's got, awesome. And she had her M&Ms that we could take. Don't let her run. I locked the door. <laughs> yeah, we, awesome. We can't launch M&Ms. That's a waste of M&Ms. All right, more importantly, Mrs. Demira, that is too cool. Can you tell us about this thing right here? Oh, yeah, this is a box saw, and this is a tool that you might make in sixth grade. So sixth grade tech is all about hands-on projects. So we're going to try to have you guys make as many hands-on projects as possible. This is one of the hands-on projects we've done in the past in what's called the production room, where we use tools and machines to create a buck saw. First, we design the handle and a program similar to the one Mr. Ball showed you where he designed a catapult. So you get to design the handles first. Then you use that design to move over to the production room where you use tools and machines to create this out of wood. And then last but not least, you get to test it out by actually cutting some wood with it. Yeah. And maybe we'll make something like that this year or something a little different. We're not sure yet. That is pretty cool. We're that is sure cool. That's an option. But if not this, it'll be something really cool and hands-on. Yes, Mr. Corbett. I tell you what, how about this? How about I take this and we do you? Oh, I think yeah, Mr. I think that'd be an awesome idea. You should so, launch this. Take a look at this. Oh, Mr. we don't want it. Okay, we can launch two rockets. For whatever reason, he's taking these things off. What? We're going to launch one We're today? We're going to launch a rocket. Are you Why kidding? Not? Why not? So, we have this really cool rocket launcher. And we're going to charge it. So what we is do, that thing? We charge this up with air, and this is going to be the power behind the rocket. And we push this button, it's going to send the power to the rocket. And I only have one fin on there, and the fin provides stability. So let's see what happens with just a little bit of stability. Three, two, one. Oh. That, that oh, almost went on the oh, roof. Oh, he came close to the roof, but All it right. didn't. How about we try another one? This one's got three fins, so we should have a little more stability and see what All right, three, two, one. Well, that one went way high. Way up there. Wow, that's much more Holy stable, Mr. Cow. Corbett. Much more stable. Uh, oh. I missed your car, Mr. Ball. I was aiming for your car. I knew it. I was going to ask you that. I thought so. All right. We're going to go over uh, structures? I think that's a great idea. Sure. I'll follow you in. Go All ahead and right. lead the way. So in, in, uh, in, in seventh grade, we're going to be doing some structure stuff. All right. Here's some of the things on the wall. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to design on the computer. Uh, a truss in, in class. That's awesome. We're going right. to do that in class? In class, we'll design it, and then you're going to build it out of wood. You're kidding. Okay. But half the class will be at home, or maybe you're a remote learner. We have some simulations, like cargo bridge that you're going to do, where you can build different kinds of bridges. Simulations that'll work on my Chromebook? On your Chromebook. And then Sweet. you're going to this guy. This guy's name is Carl. And That's Carl awesome. has to cross this gap, and, and sometimes Carl doesn't make it, and he goes for a little trip down into the ravine. But that's okay. It's Carl just a simulation. Looks like he's fallen in that ravine a lot of times already. Carl sure has, and I think he lands on his head a lot. All right. Well, we're hoping you but make that's a better a lot structure. Of fun. Students love. Carl love is seriously looking for some Carl. better structures for yeah. you this year. We're gonna look at some structures around the world. Oh, that's whether awesome. Whether you're at home or in, in class. I think I know that one. Do you know that one? Yeah. Yeah. That, shh. yeah. Okay. Oh, well, well, then we're going to design a tower. Oh, look at that. He's going to design a tower and then build a tower out of spaghetti. Wait a second. That's, so that is spaghetti. Yeah. Even if you're not in class, can Mr. If Freeman you have eat it? some of these materials available at home, you can do this at home as well. All you need is some spaghetti and some tape. So now, what if I don't know how to do it? You boil no, the spaghetti. No, you don't first? boil the oh. spaghetti. Oh. What if I don't know how to do it? I don't know how to do that on my own. Oh, don't worry about it. We have lots of videos and we'll be able to have what's called sync learning where we can uh, talk to you directly using Google Meets. We'll walk you through it. You'll, you'll have no problem creating one of your own. So, wow. Mrs. Demir, when we put this all together, do we actually get to test it? Absolutely. What? You make what? three sides, Seriously. you put them together. So three and of those become like one tower? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, man. Okay. Speaking of testing. Oh. We got a truss here left over from last year, made out of balsa wood. So let's put this in this fancy tester. So you slide this in here. What? Looks like Mr. Corbett did a better job on that Can than he did see on this one thing. Thing rocket. I that I is did, cool. Can I grab this now? I didn't. No, not Can I yet. Grab it? Hang on, hang oh, on there, Mr. Oh, okay. Ball. Okay, you sure? Simmer down. You ready? What happens All if right. I do? All right, Mr. Ball. 
We okay. got a bucket full of sand All here. Right. Pull that red knob. Can I play the sand first? No, no, put the sand back. Put this, this is really cool sand. Mr. Ball. Black sand. Mr. Ball. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. All right. The red handle. Okay. The red handle. Oh, look at this. The, and this the clown's oh. nose. All right, I'll oh, get to that. Oh, Mr. Ball. This is cool sand. It doesn't kick up a lot of dust because it's sand -like. And the sand's going to fall out right. down there and make that bucket heavy. So, so. the sand's going to come out of the big hopper right here yep. through that white chute and into that bucket. And it's going to put stress on this uh, wooden truss. Let's see what happens. So the bucket's attached to this. Yeah. And the whole thing is being held by however strong you made your truss. Yep. Yep. Okay. And this is my truss. Right. So it's going to hold... A whole bucket of sand. Let's give it a go. So I can do it now? Give it a go. I can actually pull the lever You now. pull the lever. Sweet. Look at the sand go. Well, that's a lot of sand in there. Right? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding? And then we'll watch the truss. Wow. See how much can weight it holds. Break. Oh, sure. Break. Oh, break. oh break. full break. speed. Break. That is a fast break. pour. Look at the sand dropping in there. That is really strong. Mrs. Demira must have made this one. I made that one. Yes, yes. I definitely. thought so. Yeah. Oh, oh. man. Look at that. Look what that is already. We're going to run out of video it's here. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh! 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 my goodness, that's a lot of sand. Get a, that, get a video on that. That is. Wow. That is. Oh, that, that's, that's like 25 that, pounds of sand. Way, yeah. But now it's broken. That's okay. Now we can analyze where we think it failed. We can figure out how much sand it held. And we can do some math calculations Wait, and figure out the efficiency. Is that like what structural engineers might That's do? That's what structural engineers do. You know about structural engineers, Mr. Ball? Well, a little bit, because I haven't taken your class yet. Yeah. Actually, I'm enrolled in Mrs. Demir's. I think I'm going to learn a whole lot more. You are going to learn a lot in Mrs. Demir's class. Well, Mrs. Demir, you did a great job on that. I'm Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, that's pathetic. <laughs> All right, well, that's okay, the guys. tech department, and we are so excited to have you guys come back and see us online or in person. Absolutely. See you guys yeah. soon. Take care. Yeah.